Hello, and welcome to DMA Days. Or for you bilingual people, Hola, como estas? Or for you trilingual people, Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Je suis un pomme de terre. Oh, baguette. A croissant. You just said the two French words that everybody knows. Yeah. Anyway, we're here at the uh, Wilson Art Gallery and we're going to be uh, viewing some of the uh, DMA professor's artwork, uh, which includes photography and paintings, and uh, also some of the fine arts professor's artwork, which is pottery and other fine art things. I, don't, like I haven't really looked in there yet, so. Like there's I'm some colored sure. pencils. Colored pencils? Some nice colored artwork from the fine arts. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Anyway, another thing we're going to be doing is looking into, uh, we're looking at the 3D printing stuff that we have going yeah. on in the department. And uh, recently that's been up and coming, so we're going to sort of talk about the evolution of that um, on campus over the past couple of years. Yeah. So uh, how are we going to exactly get out of this? I mean, Joe, and I'm a I was thinking the same thing. Really? Whoa, I didn't see you there. Oh, Look. Wow. Hey, wow, that's cool. We're just we're we're being just filmed. Apart. That's fine. Yeah, uh, that's fine. This is, this is Ballinger stuff, Brian Ballinger. Uh, he works in Photoshop and what was the other program? Clip Studio? Yeah, Clip Studio Paint. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. So you can read labels. He also does a lot of photography, which you can see on this wall over here. Oh, yeah, wow. That's a man, I think. Well, Ballinger's stuff is really yeah. cool. This one's got a lot of bright, shiny colors on it. Ooh, he's got a guitar, wow. Yeah, movement. Who's that guy? Huh. I don't know. Some stranger. Yeah, never seen him before. Yeah. I just want to watch you observe this art this time. So this is Odessi stuff, Professor Odessi. Yeah. So. It's got some real good painting work. Yeah, yeah, digital painting, Photoshop. Yeah. Shiny. This one's in Illustrator and Photoshop. Well, so wait versatile. Wait so correct me on that one. Thanks. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. I think I like this one the most. That one is really good. I like the lighting. I like that stroke right there. Is that what he looks like? Yes, of Odessi. I've never seen him without his beard before. Me too. I mean, I reckon if he shaved, he'd turn into a, a witch doctor female. Yeah, I never knew that like, just shaving a beard could make such a difference. Pottery. Yes, it's a pitcher and tumbler set. What's a tumbler? These. Oh. And it would appear that Rebecca Kaufman did these. Yes. I believe she's the professor that teaches all the uh, pottery courses. Would make sense as uh, these are very well done. And they're pots. Oh, those are hers too. Wow. What is all that noise? Where is that out? Where's all that noise coming from? I think it's coming from this court. Wow! Let's go take a look. Is this Lance Clark's stuff? I think it's also maybe some from uh, Matt Webb as well. Oh, really? Yeah. I like the goldfish. Ooh! Ah! One year road trip. That's a cool project that Webb's been working on for a while. Basically, he goes around and interviews people that are doing some interesting things. Usually, they're younger people um, doing some interesting things in like the world of nonprofits and like ministry and stuff. Yeah, it's really inspiring to see such uh, young children doing some pretty important work. And it's inspiring to see Matt Webb drive that far in a bus with such poor gas mileage. What are those? I believe work from uh, Gregor Roth, uh, someone else outside. DMA department, perhaps in the uh, fine arts. Studio Art Fine Arts. Mm. These are digital. Yeah, they look like real watercolors. Mm -hmm. He's uh, been trying some stuff with the iPad Pro. Wow. I think these are from Fort Wayne, aren't they? Some statues. So. We have these statue ones. Ballinger won a really big newspaper uh, photography competition about a month or so ago. He does a lot of cool wide shots and yeah. fish islands things. 
Well, I'm gonna go home. Home? Home? Hello everyone. Welcome to the 3D printing room. My name is James. This is Frank. Hello. Frank, can we stop dancing briefly? Please. We can resume after the interview. All right. And tell me a little bit about the history of the 3D printing that we've been doing here. Well, we started off a couple years ago with uh, a MakerBot, which is, uh, when people think of 3D printing, you think mechanical arm comes down, puts little droplets of plastic, mm -hmm. builds up, up, up like building out of Legos. Then they decided to go with a laser printer. Wow. Yeah, the Form 1 uh, use it is a laser and a liquid resin and, and kind of does the exact opposite of a MakerBot. Hmm. And instead of building from the bottom up, builds from the top down. What? Yeah. Goes up, comes back down. And keeps doing it till you have monsters. <gasps> Who made that? Students. Really? Yes. This is actually a, a 3D sculpt of the beast from um, Dandelions. Oh my gosh. Actually, this guy himself cost about cost the school about fifteen dollars to make. Oh. Like I said, we had the Form One. This is the Form Two, the later generation. The Form One had a lot of mechanical problems okay. to it, and uh, we eventually decided to upgrade. It's a very Short history, about three, four years. Yeah, well, 3D printing is a kind of a new thing, isn't it? Sort of. Well, 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 yeah. 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 Oh, gosh. Oh, Jason. I don't remember printing that. What are you doing here? <laughs> this is where I work. <laughs> is, this, is this your home? This is where I live. Really? Yeah. Where's your little sleeping bag? Well, tucked back in my closet. That one? Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. Well, bye. See ya. Sleep tight tonight. That guy's awful. Anyway, could you tell me a little bit about how this will be implemented in classes later? Sure thing. Well, currently the professors are talking about using it in the uh, current ZBrush sculpting class it is, allowing students to be able to hold to, who, no matter really even how good your work is, if you want a copy, you take a copy of your work home, show mom and dad what you've done at class. Oh, mom and pops. I'd be so proud. Sorry. Sorry. But um, in this year's senior project class, um, Alex and Jesse Mastry and are working on a tabletop RPG and are um, getting various people to help them with sculpting out their own figurines, so little tabletop miniatures. You can't go out and get a barbarian shaped like a Hershey bar. Just it's not something anyone does. Yeah. Yeah. Which is why it's going to be cool and unique. Exactly. It's going to be twenty percent cooler than everything else. 20% exactly. How do you know? I measured it. I believe that. Anyway, continue. And then uh, Sierra is using it to make her own line of Happy Meal toys. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to try and sell own McDonald's and see if they bite. They may just start selling them at the DC. Uh, I don't know Imagine DC I... issued Happy Meals. The horror. I don't want to think about that, Frank. We're right over here. Oh, okay. Yeah. That wasn't a very long walk. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> Another thing we're looking at doing is um, Matthew and I are basing our senior project mostly off of pushing the boundary ease of 3D printing. And one of the things that we're currently working on is developing a uh, armature, a rig, if you will, um, for a stop motion puppet. It's entirely 3D printed. A lot cheaper, a lot safer, and, and um, a lot makes things a lot easier for people that just want to jump in, into building puppets. <laughs> oh man, it's been a pleasure. Thank right. you so much for showing me around this vast auditorium that we have here dedicated yes. to 3D printing. I'm gonna go um, try and find Jason's sleeping bag, so yeah. If oh, you just... I'll leave you to it. Thanks. If you find any gremlins in the closet, don't feed them after midnight. I learned the hard way. Very well. <clears throat> well, here I go. I've seen things I can't unsee. I heard things I can't unhear. Lord, be with me now as I sing upon my knees. Hallelujah, hallelujah.